buddy Doc Mackey coming at you with a little bit of training and some new equipment. This is a chesty compression kit. So you guys all know that I start every video with the why. Chesty compressions have to be done in the right spot every time without failure. Couple big failure points is not getting in the right spot, i.e. going too low, like getting in the abdominal cavity, and also not actually entering the thoracic cavity to accomplish what's being attempted. So I'm gonna show you what's in the kit. On the inside is one Sam Thoracite. I'm gonna show you how to use this. There is one flush and there is one steel three and a half inch needle decompression needle. Okay, so let's start with the Sam Thoracite. So these cards are designed to be used on either the right side of the body or the left side of the body. Notice how I'm holding it. This is the position it goes in. At the very top, it'll either say right or it will say left. At the bottom of each card will have another indicator that points to the hip. The reason for this is so that we don't point it too far forward or too far back, okay? Depending upon which side of the body you're on. All right, so this notch up here tucks up into the patient's axilla, and this is toward the patient's front. So if this were the left side of the body, this would be in the left axilla, this would be up at the front, this pointing toward the hip. And then you have this window that's right here. So the window is where the needle goes. Once you have this tucked into the patient's axilla, you reach through the window and you palpate for the intercostal space, and then you introduce the needle in this window into the intercostal space. Therefore, we always know we're high enough. And then we have to ask ourselves, how do we know we're actually in the thoracic cavity instead of just hanging out in the muscle, not going deep enough, all right? So that's where these come in. You guys have heard me before. I'm gonna harp on this as long as you'll have me in the room, all right? So we're gonna take out our flush when we're ready now remember, you're gonna be wearing gloves for this procedure, but I don't have a patient here, so I'm not gonna wear gloves. You're gonna remove the cap, and you're just gonna squirt out, let's say maybe, I don't know, a cc or two of this stuff. So let's go ahead and squirt that out. We have about yeah, eight cc's or so. It doesn't matter, it's not the volume. You just want enough space in here that you can actually withdraw air. You take your needle decompression needle, open it up, Remove it, you attach it to the top of the flush and you are ready to go. Now when you have your thoracite in place and you've identified where the needle is gonna go, introducing the needle at a 90 degree angle perpendicular to the body and when you have entered into the skin and the bevel is in the skin, you start to withdraw on the plunger. The plunger should give you resistance because you're in skin or muscle. You are not in air or an air occupying space like the lungs. The moment you cross into the lung space, then you should start to see air coming back and you know you're deep enough. Go a little further, advance the catheter, leave the catheter in, the needle goes in the sharps container, you're good to go. All right, so that was a lot of information coming at you, but just a quick recap. These kits are gonna be located in all the ambulances in the trauma compartment that's above the bench seat. They will also be on all the engines, trucks, rescues, as well as hazmat in the red bags, in the trauma bag, in the trauma part of the compartment of the bag, okay? Inside here is one, Thoracite card, we just went over how to use it. One needle and one flush. Let's say like you have a traumatic arrest and you need to use two needles. You'll need two kits and we'll make sure that you have enough. Thanks for this brief video. Please take time, take this out when you're in the station, practice with it, 
Don't put a needle into your partner. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about using the card. Okay, get the card out. Mess with the card a little bit. See how it fits in the axilla. Make sure you're pointing to the hip. Feel through here for the, for the intercostal space. And then you found the spot. Stop at step four before you insert a needle into your partner. All right, okay. Thanks so much. As always, reach out to the MS division. Thank you for everything you do. And we'll see you on the next one.